What up guys, Cole here. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is the salesman secret to 2Xing your funnel return on ad spend. And the reason I call it the salesman secret is because it has nothing to do with your marketing, your ads, your content, your targeting, or any of that stuff at all. It actually has everything to do with the sales process. And I'm not just talking about, you know, doubling your closing rate. It's something entirely different. So I'm gonna show you the old funnel we were using before. It was very, very similar to a typical VSL webinar to a call funnel. I'm gonna show you the old funnel, the pros and cons of that funnel, how it was working, and then the one shift we made that probably honestly three to four X star profitability, but conservatively at least doubled the profitability of the entire thing. So I'm gonna show you the shift and then the new funnel essentially that we're using with that one tweak and the pros and cons of that, how to actually do it with a diagram flow chart that shows everything front to back. So I'm gonna flip over to those slides now and get this going. Alrighty guys, and real quick, before we get into this training, if you want this document with the flows, the diagrams, all of this information, comment 2x below right now, comment 2x below um, in the comments of this YouTube video, and my team is going to reach out and send you um, a recording of the document as well as the actual document itself. So comment 2x below now. All right, so a salesman's secret to 2xing funnel return on ad spend. Honestly, as you're going to see um, later in this training, it's, it's going to be a lot more than 2x. But conservatively, if you follow just one of the things I teach you here, you could at least 2x the production of your funnel return on ad spend, which is crazy. So the overview of what we're going to cover is the old funnel I was using in the results, new funnel the changes we made and results of that, the key distinctions of those changes that we made, and then how you can implement this in your business right now. So our client acquisition funnel before, what we were using is the very common and probably what you've seen and known of is ad opt-in VSL application to booking page sales call. A lot of people think this funnel doesn't work and, and people love running ads saying webinars are dead and VSLs are dead. I will say I think webinars are a little bit played out. Um, I just think it's kind of silly that you know, your prospects are believing that it's a live webinar when it's not type of <laughs> type of thing. Um, and, you know, there's, it's like just in time and there's like 15 minutes. I'm not saying they can't work. I, I know they do, but I, I do think this model right here is superior, but a lot of people are saying even VSLs don't work. And that's simply not true. Um, I will say there's one market, if you're an internet marketer selling to other internet marketers, it is tougher to get VSLs to work. But I do know of an eight figure business right now who sells directly to internet marketers who he's doing, I think two million a month plus off one VSL. So it's possible you just have to be good at VSLs. You have to know your market and be really, really, really good at this stuff. Um, now, if you don't sell to internet marketers, uh, you still have to be good at VSLs, just not as good, okay? Um, part of the reason this, all of what I'm gonna show you in this training works is that my, v it's like I'm not trying to add bells and whistles to a bad VSL. Like my VSL was already good, as I'm about to tell you, but we made it like, no exaggeration, five to 10 times better. So um, key distinctions of what we were doing before, ad opt-in, VSL, application booking page to a sales call, pretty pretty typical. Key distinctions, we scaled this to about 100 to 150K a month, or sorry, 150 to 200K a month with one closer who was really good. And you know we were doing about two to three X on cash. So a lot of people would be super happy with that, me, not so much. So um, our new funnel, this looks really complicated, but it's not is uh, the same in the top, ad opt-in, VSL, application booking page, sales call. But then what we're doing, the whole difference is what we're doing with the email and the phone number that we are collecting. So I'm gonna talk about phone numbers in a second and that's really the main thing that uh, made the difference. But I first wanna cover email just so um, we get that out of the way because it is important, but it's not the thing that 2X the funnel, the, the big thing I'm going to show you in this training. So in terms of email, we get their email and between an autoresponder and a daily broadcast strategy, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to drive them directly to a call. We're going to drive replies to the setters. So we do have outbound setters and we're going to talk more about that in a second. But essentially some of our emails say, you know, they might tell a story then say, you know, if you want results like Jane, book a call. Other ones will say, if you want results like Jane, reply to this email and we'll send you details on what we do and how it works, okay? Um, burying those call to actions works really, really well for us and it kind of, res different people respond differently to both of those. And when they reply, our setters are in the inbox, they follow up the email back, they text back, uh, they call them because all we have all their contact information in the CRM. So that works very, very well. We also drive once weekly to a live stream of sorts in our Facebook group. And that allows the setters, once they're in the group, to do a variety of different lead generation uh, methods 
and setting methods that are group specific. So that works quite well. Now, here's where we get into the, the really juicy stuff that works super well. We also added a phone number field. This has to be an optional field. If you make it mandatory, it'll throttle the throughput of your funnel. If you make it optional, throughput will stay relatively the same, maybe decrease a tiny bit, but you will get about 60 to 70% of people to give you an accurate number. Now, um, off the phone number, we call within 10 minutes every single lead. Um, not always is that realistic, just because like you know your your salespeople will be on the phones all day. So if there's leads coming in all day, not all of them are going to get that 10 minute call. But we do try to call as soon as possible. Okay, and um, this is the thing right here. Um, what I'm circling on the screen right now, having the setters call and having them call with the right speed, with the right cadence, with the right frequency. That is literally what overnight, um, I think it was February of this past year, 2021, where we were doing about 150 to 200K a month. And within 30 days, this just doubled the production to 300, 400 grand a month. Not even kidding. Just, just calling the leads ASAP, using setters, and then driving that to a sales call. That alone doubled the production, if not more. Okay. So, I mean, just to give you an example, one setter for our team can book about 25 qualified appointments a week, okay? Just from doing this alone, 25 qualified appointments a week. Now, the closing ratio and the show-up ratio of the sets is higher than the inbound, actually, okay? So realistically, it might be more than doubling, but we're basically getting a whole extra closers calendar off of the same amount of ad spend that filled one closer's calendar. So imagine having one closer, adding your second closer, and then adding a setter, and you don't even need to touch ad spend at all, right? That's what this allows you to do. And that's why it's so powerful. Now, that's not the only thing we were doing with the phone number. And we're going to talk more about this setter call in a second. But um, the other thing we were doing is uh, SMS CRM, and then we follow the same cadence as email. So we, we drive to the group, we drive replies, we drive to the call, and then the setters do the lead gen within the group again. So that uh, helps a lot. To be honest though, I'll tell you, for a while our email strategy totally sucked because of deliverability. We didn't even have the SMS CRM, and we just did this, and we were just making boatloads of cash. Uh, we were just crushing it with this like to an insane level, um, just because we, I mean, it was two to three X the production of our VSL. And so that allowed us to scale it so fast. So some key distinctions here. Call cadence is key. So how quickly you dial, how often do you dial, the time in between calls, the frequency, all of that stuff. Um, you know, I've seen so many people try to do this before they work with us. And we look at these things and, and they're not correct. And this will, will dramatically impact your results, especially because it's opt-ins, not buyers. Um, call software you use is essential. Again, there's a software that rhymes with um, schmoes.com, rose.com, okay? And I've seen people switch from that software to the one we recommend for calling and uh, get literally, I mean, 5% answer ratio with the former to 25%, 30% answer ratios with the new one. So, I mean, you're, you're talking 3, 4, 5Xing, the reduction, the throughput of your funnel just from that. So uh, software is going to be big as well. And another thing is your setters have to be real salespeople who are actually good at their craft, like an actual salesperson. So the reason I say this is because what people have a tendency to do is go as cheap as possible with this. And they try to hire like overseas VAs and, you know, Filipino telesales and all this stuff. Like I just never, I mean, I'm sure it can work, but I've really never seen it work. Um, at least at the level that I want it. Like you're never gonna get the doubling your production off your VSL. And in fact, I think a lot of times it could just make your funnel worse. So I've seen so many people go this route and they think it sounds like such a good idea is hiring this overseas call center and all this stuff, but it rarely uh, ever works. And then they come to me and they're like, well, we tried that, it didn't work. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, you just hired a bunch of VAs who aren't even, they don't even know what you sell, you know, barely. So. You need real, talented, commission-based salespeople. Shameless plug, uh, we have a done-for-you recruiting arm that gives people setters, places them done-for-you in their business that are real commission-based salespeople who can work in-house, be totally aligned with your culture, your brand, your mission, your values, all of that stuff that um, really like are committed to your team. And um, 
That's why our clients, when they do this model, they succeed. But if you just try to hire VAs, not talented people, not people who are real sales people overseas to call centers, it just doesn't work. Um, also, this isn't the full funnel. So there's other stuff that we did as well that helped. But I mean, just that one shift with calling the setters, that can, I mean, 2, 3x, 4x your funnel production. But then when we added in retargeting and some other channels, we'll talk about this in a second, um, we really maximized deep DPL and took it to a whole entirely new level. So what were the results? I kind of uh, already mentioned this, but this alone took our funnel to about 6 to 8x cash ROAS. And that was all while we scaled from 100K a month to 1.2 million a month just with this funnel. Okay, that's not even total company sales. That's just this funnel. Um, so it's pretty crazy. We, we increased our ROAS while scaling 10x. <laughs> um, pretty unheard of, right? Usually ROAS goes down as you scale. So when you factor in some of the other strategies that we did on top of the uh, setter calls to maximize dollar per lead, um, that's what's pushed us even over a 10x ROAS at the eight-figure level, million dollar a month plus level. And it's really focusing on close rates like most teams, close rates are 20 to 25%. Ours, and you know, granted this is because I tra probably train sales, are 30 to 40%. Uh, we have guys who close even above 40. Our follow-up game is really good. When I was a closer full-time, half of my production would come from um, follow-up. Half of it, like longer-term follow-up, like nurturing a pipeline. So if I was doing, let's say, half a million a month, 250 grand of that a month would come from long-term nurture follow-up. So that's multiple millions a year that I'm adding to the business from following up. And since most salespeople aren't doing this, if you can get them to do this, you're basically doubling their production, which is essentially gonna double your ROAS, right? So getting my sales team to just follow the things I was doing when I was a salesperson to get half of my deals through follow-up and still get the good one-call close ratio on the front end, um, I mean, that alone, you're, you're becoming more efficient. You're getting more out of everything that you already have. Um, on top of having a great content marketing strategy, we talked about that, multi-channel retargeting, uh, et cetera. So it's more than just the funnel. A lot of a lot of people nowadays, they want to focus on the targeting, the ad strategy, the creative, the, the channel. They want to focus on the VSL. Uh, should the booking page be first? Should the application page be first? Look, all those things are important and they, do, they can make an impact. But um, what I've had my success on is being so good at all the other things that people don't want to focus on. You know, a lot of these things, setters, outbound, you know, all these things nobody wants to talk about. They're not sexy. I just become really good at those. And then people think it's because my ads. And then they rip off my ads and my VSL verbatim. Um, but it's really not, um, like, I'm, th those people will just never compete with me. All right, one, because they're ripping me off. Two, because they're not seeing all this stuff behind the scenes that I'm actually doing. So just as a recap, by this time, you know that the traditional VSL, in most cases, it's still the most effective client acquisition method to cold traffic for clients, okay? Especially high ticket. And um, you also know that adding setters to farm your existing list, call those leads immediately in conjunction with doing everything the right way, content marketing, all those strategies I, I said above, can at least 2x, probably more, the returns of your funnel. But obviously, even if you know those things to be true, you're probably wondering, well, where do you find good setters? What's the recruiting and hiring process look like? Once you get them, how do you create the sales playbook for it? How do you onboard, manage, train? What all systems do you need? And then also when they don't perform, you know, what is the KPI versus what the performance should actually be? And how, if they're not on KPI, how do you actually diagnose and get them to either move up or move out? Like, and find out what the real issue is, especially if you've never done this before and you're brand new. Well, at the time of this writing, um, just last month, we crossed 2.2 million a month. And uh, this month, we'll probably do about 2 to 2.1, or even we might just sustain right at 2.2. And so um, we've been able to get there in under two years. 40 to 50% of my production is all from the internal setting teams that I have and I've trained, okay? Um, not to mention, if you see a page like this, you can literally see you know, a massive wall of case studies of us doing this for some of the biggest names in the industry. And... Um, and a lot more people. We've probably worked with 350 plus sales teams in the past two years implementing these exact systems, both on the setting and the closing side, many of which have scaled to multi seven, even eight figures in revenue. In fact, um, I think I personally have more eight figure clients than any other service provider or coach that I know in the industry, period. And obviously, part of that is because we work with sales teams. So you're by nature more likely to be doing bigger numbers in revenue um, just by being a qualified client for us, but still uh, getting people to eight figures, getting them beyond eight figures to multiple two million a month more. I just don't know anybody who's who's really impacted that segment of the market like we have. So if uh, 
you want to learn how we do our done for you recruiting for setters, closers, you want our help onboarding, training, managing these teams internally and really installing this whole system in your business so you can get way more return on ad spend, which also gives you way more capacity for scale, then uh, just comment below this video if it's YouTube or just hit me up on Facebook. If you got my Facebook, it's Cole Gordon. Just DM me, say, yo, I watched the setter video. Give me the details and I'll shoot you some info. But uh, that's all I got, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a big shift for us, and I'm just kind of giving it to you on a silver platter. So hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk soon.